Oh, goody. All right, what's up, everybody? It is Zombies here again. And today we actually have a hotfix to talk about. So this is pretty cool. Um, this hotfix, I believe it just went live today. It's in the process of being rolled out. It is server side, so you do not have to uh, get a game update to get these changes. They will automatically go live in the client within the next hour or two. I, I'm not really sure how long these things take to roll out, but usually once they post about it, it's either out or it's going out soon. So we'll be seeing these today at the very least. Um, and there are actually quite a few uh, mercenaries things in here that I wanted to talk about and make sure everyone was aware of. So the first, uh, first mention here is um, adjusts how mercenaries ranking ratings are calculated to generally award more ratings for a win but not lose more ratings for a loss. The, the intent of this change is to make it so that more players can aspire to reach the top rating, currently level 12,000. We will continue to monitor ratings and make any further adjustments necessary in future updates. So that's awesome. Um, this was, I think, a pretty uh, pretty common critique from the player base, both uh, like high-ranked and not. I think everyone just kind of like felt that that 12K was a bit too unattainable. Like if if those high rankings are supposed to be like some kind of maybe like legend equivalent from constructed, where you get good rewards for getting those really high ranks, I think they needed to make 12K a bit more attainable because. I think literally only like five people or 10 people or something were ever able to hit that so far last season. And that was in a season that was longer than the seasons we're typically going to get going forward because they extended it due to launch. So I think they did need to do uh, some kind of change there. So I'm happy to hear that. And I'm happy to hear they're going to continue monitoring it as well to make sure that the change kind of hopefully accomplishes what they are aiming to do with it and make it a bit more kind of enjoyable and rewarding to climb the ladder. So great change, really happy to see this. Um, the next one, another really good change. So this is uh, changing how one of the products in the shops works for mercenaries. So adjusts mercenaries product logic for random mercenary types products. Previously, if you, if you bought a product of this type while already owning all mercenaries within that category, such as random epic mercenary product, when you already had all epic mercenaries, you would receive coins for a random selection from that category. Now, in those same situations, you will first receive a random missing portrait for a mercenary from within that category, and will only receive coins if you also have all portraits for all mercenaries within that category. So basically what that means is in these random mercenary type products um, for like random epic or random legendary, now it will roll a portrait for you instead of coins if you already own all of that uh, rarity of mercenary. So this is a really huge change, um, particularly if you're someone who is really interested in getting more of the skins for legendaries. Um, I, I know we have seen the kind of legendary, random legendary offer bundled in with a few different things. And I know for other people who are in kind of the position I am, where we already have all the, the base mercenaries, it's kind of a waste to get a random legendary unless it's like a brand new uh, kind of set of mercenaries coming out. Because you just get 100 coins and a lot of times it's going to be for someone you already have all the coins for. So it's just kind of worthless. And so this is a huge change because as we've seen in the store, for a legendary mercenary uh, portrait, on its own um, or bundled with some things, usually it's about like, I think I've seen 15 or $20 for the, the legendary portraits, which uh, regardless of like, whether you think that's a, a good thing or a bad thing, um, I think this is really great because before, the only way you could get a legendary portrait is you, you had to either get really, really lucky from opening packs for it, or you kind of had to hope you got a random bundle in the shop that happened to be one you wanted. And that 
just wasn't the best. Like, that wasn't a very feel-good system, in my opinion. So now, if you get a bundle and it has, you know, random mercenary in it, instead of just getting 100 coins, which are probably going to be useless for you, you could get a gold uh, portrait for one of your legendaries. And that's huge, because they were just really, as someone who wanted to kind of collect at least one for every character, it's just currently, unless you get lucky and spend a fair amount of money it's just not like possible so this is a really big change um, and a very positive one for the player base in my opinion and I hope we see some more stuff like this going forward because I think this is a really uh, I think this is just one of those things that was a little bit of an oversight at launch and now that the mode has been out for a little bit and whatnot i think they're going to be making some more changes and we do know that um, supposedly more quality of life changes are coming in a future patch probably with new mercenaries next month but we'll have to keep an eye out for that because we don't know too much about that yet however these were not the only changes um, that were done in mercenaries but they probably were two of the biggest um, mentioned here However, another change, and this one's also pretty big, is they actually uh, buffed Sky Admiral Rogers. Um, I believe this was because uh, she was originally statted higher before release, and I think it was actually some kind of, I don't know if it was a bug or just an error uh, that didn't get caught um, going out the door to launch with, with her. But uh, she was originally supposed to have a bit higher damage. So that's actually what this is fixing. Um, it changes her firing position damage. So at rank 5, instead of dealing a maximum of 20 damage, it now deals a maximum of 25. So that's a pretty pretty nice boost to her. Um, I think Sky Admirable Rogers is a really cool character. I'm actually working on leveling her today so I can try out some fun comps with her. And I'm happy to see this buff because I don't think she was like, uh, like, I think it's too early to say if she's like really good or really not good yet. Um, but I definitely think like the bump from 20 to 25 can be pretty big because now when you're getting super effective hits, it's 50 damage and 50 is, 50 is really scary as we've seen from Valera recently. Um, then we have some bug fixes here, which are also fantastic to see. They fixed a bug in Mercenaries where Mr. Smite's sharpened scabbard was adding damage while Mr. Smite was on the bench. So a little bit of a uh, unintended interaction there, kind of uh, buffing Mr. Smite up, so they, they got rid of that. Um, then they also fixed another bug where Vanessa Van Cleef's sifting satchels would sometimes fail to add a cooldown for what it copies. I saw a few players mention this in the Discord, so really glad to see that is fixed because um, I'm still leveling my Vanessa and I'm excited to try her. So glad to know her ability isn't going to be bugged with the cooldown anymore. And speaking of cooldown bugs, uh, probably the biggest bug fist fix on this list is actually the one for Valera. Now, Valera had a bug where if she herself or one of your other units would uh, sometimes not properly be buffed if they were at too low of a health total under certain conditions. So it seems that is fixed. So now those units will receive her speed buff. And, um, under those conditions, which is really big because uh, both playing it and watching a bunch of other people in the community stream, there were definitely a lot of instances where games really got changed by that bug kind of slowing down one of your units. So I'm really curious to see uh, if that being fixed changes things overall. Then I guess there was a, some kind of crashing bug that they fixed, fixed a bug causing crashes in mercenary fighting pit games versus AI opponents. So I guess that's good if you're just starting out on mercenaries and you're facing the bots. It's good they got that fixed. And then last but not least on bugs, fixes a bug where products that offer random mercenary portraits would give mercenary coins instead of a portrait if the portrait randomly awarded would have been the last missing portrait for that particular mercenary. This is another issue where uh, I definitely saw a few people in the Discord and Twitter impacted by this. So it's really good to know that it is fixed because that definitely would be really frustrating 
where if you are getting a, you're supposed to get that last portrait that you're missing and then you get random potentially useless coins instead. I know I would be really frustrated in that situation. Um, so I'm really happy that they have fixed that. And I think they, they have helped players out with that issue, uh, who've contacted them about it. Um, but I wasn't, so I can't speak from that experience. So that's it for all the, uh, the mercenary news in this, uh, hot fix. This is rolling out today. Um, so these changes should be live, uh, when this video goes up, I would think. Um, one other thing to mention here, um, this isn't directly related to mercenaries, but I think it's an important thing to note. Uh, it's here at the bottom. On another note, the team has decided to extend the start of rewards tracked refund logic to also apply to Vandar and Drekthar. Although these cards do not meet the circumstances we normally use for applying refund logic, we have heard your feedback that an exception in this instance will make for a better play experience for many players. So this is really cool. Um, if you don't know, they gave out these cards uh, for the new set and you get the other one from the other faction by completing quests, by leveling up uh, your kind of like mainline quests by just playing games. And But you could also open them in packs. And some people were upset about this because they got the other legendaries faction that they're going to get for free eventually anyway, instead of like a cool new card they could use. So I definitely understand that frustration because um, I have been playing a fair amount of Constructed recently with the new cards, and it's been a lot of fun. So I think this is a great, uh, great change, and I think this just shows that feedback's important. Like, keep it constructive. Like, don't just go and, like, flame the, the devs needlessly, right? Like, be respectful about it, but, like, feedback's really important because that leads to changes like this. So I think that's why, especially in the Mercenaries community, our feedback is very important because it leads to changes. Like the changes we're seeing in this hotfix, I think are a kind of direct result of players voicing their feedback that we want something more than just a hundred useless coins in uh, these bundles. So that's really great. Um, really happy to see these changes, especially all this in just a hotfix. That's kind of awesome. Like this is normally like, this is a pretty decent amount of like fixes and changes. And so the fact that we're getting all this and just a little itty bitty hotfix um, that's coming today is really, really great. Um, I look forward to seeing what other changes uh, we will have down the road. I know supposedly we have some quality of life stuff to look forward to that may be coming around the corner next month, but that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying the channel. It really does go a lot towards helping me grow and continue what I'm doing here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about these changes. Uh, are they good? Um, do you think they should have done more? What would you like to see them change in the future? I'd love to hear it. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.